Hello everyone, Robert Rambles here, and welcome back to WoW Classic, The Burning Crusade. We are going to head up into the northwestern part of the zone today. We have quite a few things to take on up there, and quite a few quests to still find and pick up, it seems like. And after that, once we get that all taken care of, we should have our bear form, we should be level 10 or 11. And then we'll attempt the Banithil Barrow Den again. We tried it... We tried to step foot in there yesterday, but that caused us a lot of problems. There's going to be a lot of two pulls in there that we're just not really equipped to handle. Uh, because unfortunately in the cave systems, we can't use entangling roots. It requires us to be outdoors. Which is a little weird. A uh, cave is inside of itself. It's not indoors. It is in fact out of doors by the technical definition of outdoors. If I go into a cave, I don't consider myself to be inside a house or structure or anything else, but uh, yeah, entangling roots does not work. So we'll just have to be a little bit tougher, and I'm hoping that having bear form will grant us that toughness. Speaking of toughness, we do have uh, some potions now. We have minor elixirs of defense. Might as well use that, and we also have some healing potions we can pop if things do get truly dire. Which, you know, we hope that they won't. But uh, during these early levels, and I've heard this from a few of you guys as well, the druid is a little tough uh, until you get bear form. When you get bear form, it gets a little bit easier, and then when you get cat form, it gets easier again. So I am going to stick it out uh, until we get cat form. I really, really enjoy the gameplay of a rogue, so I'm, I'm kind of thinking that the gameplay flow of the cat is going to be pretty similar to that, and that I'm going to enjoy it equally. And I hope that works out. We are going to do some deviating here on our path to, to do a little herbing. Uh, we, won't, we won't do too much, but... Do want to do some, just to keep that leveling. I've leveled alchemy a couple times in the past, including in the Season of Mastery, and usually we can do a pretty good job of keeping our alchemy at level with us and making potions that are useful. I could see on the druid how we might want mana and healing potions. And then there are probably like end game potions and stuff that I'm less familiar with that boost our stats. That we could probably benefit from. But I don't think we get into any of those until much, much later. I hope you all are having a great morning. It's a Sunday for me as I record this. And it's been a good one so far. I, w I would wish that the weather could be a little warmer. I'm in Michigan and it's been uh, incredibly cold for having been the start of spring for a while now. Haven't really been able to get outside and do as much as I would normally want to and I think a little bit of cabin fever has set in. I spent six years living in Kansas City, Missouri, where it got warm pretty early <laughs> in spring and, and kind of stayed that way. And uh, being back in Michigan and having to deal with a winter that lasts and lasts has not been the healthiest thing to have to endure. I wouldn't recommend it to anybody that lives in a warmer climate. That's for sure. When we came here, I told myself that I would learn to do things out in the cold, but it turns out I hate being out in the cold for too long. Uh, I don't really like how much you're... Oh, this is the cat. This is the level 8 cat, I think, that killed us uh, in the first episode. <laughs> He's still as tough as he was then. Let's blast him from a distance. Oh boy. Oh, you are also a level 8 cat. We we are running. We, we are not going to die for that herb. We are going to get out of here. I will drink some more coffee and wake up a little bit more and be a little bit more spatially aware here in a couple minutes, but... Slept way in today, and... Yeah, my brain is still orienting itself to reality, I guess you could say. Oh, look at this guy. Oh, we need you. Let's do this. Yeah, we're just we're just having all kinds of problems. Let's reset both these guys and we'll just try again. Let's 
come out here a little bit. Maybe we can grab this herb. We can get earth root now, so that's good. If I zoom out a little bit and uh, look around, that could give me some more spatial awareness. Bags could have been emptied a little bit better, but I think it's okay. Um, let's see, we need thorns up. And there we go, that should be good. Alright, so we're looking for tumors off of these uh, moss fen guys. That's what we're looking for. Timberling trampers. Tramp tramplers? Yep. Uh, you are now a level 9 cat. Jeez. Level-wise, it feels like we should have gone into the barrow den first, but the way that it's structured and the amount of two pulls in there kind of did not allow that to be a thing that we did first. Um, this might be challenging, but if we're careful, we should be able to pull things one at a time out here. Let's get all of our mana back. We do have milk, so we're about to be out of water, but that's okay. We'll start drinking some of this milk. We also have a little bit of backup food. There we go. Yeah, I don't think we're going to melee these things down. I, I think that that's not going to be something we can do anymore when we're approaching level 10. I have some silver leaf that looks like it's probably on the other side of this tree. He made the ground shake there, but I'm not sure what he actually did. Uh, let's see. Should be right here somewhere. Here it is. Robert can definitely see. Yep, I can see just fine. Kind of what I love about Classic WoW, I love that nothing is glowing and sparkling, that you actually have to use your eyes and mouse over stuff, and that sometimes you can just not see anything, even though it's right in front of your face. I actually enjoy that aspect of it. It's much better than having a bunch of glowy shit in the world, just kind of sparkling at any distance. Excuse me. Uh, let's see. Oh, well, we've only got two so far. I wonder if this is going to be kind of a low drop rate for us. I wonder if it's worth it to entangling roots them just to take less hits. It seems to break on any direct damage. Ooh, what's that? Uh, that is a training sword of the eagle. Two int and one stamina. Yeah, there's not really any night elf that could use that, I don't think. Um, that'd be a good paladin weapon. I guess. It's kind of a weird drop to get at a low level. Uh, we could probably head north. Let's do that. Let's head north along the river here. We do have a couple of quests to investigate, so I want I want to head 
Let's come up here first and grab this one, then we'll cut across to the other side and check out the other quest over here. I've leveled in this area a couple of times on a couple of different characters, but I don't know for sure if I picked up any of the quests up here, so I'm interested to see... Are they just quest givers? Is it going to be items that, were drop that are dropping off of enemies? I am not sure. Level 10? I'd rather not. Maybe we can find somebody that's level 9. Oh, you guys are just getting a higher level as we go. Feeling a lot like a mage at the moment. And I keep telling myself that that is only going to be a small period of time in the grand scheme of things. So it doesn't break on, on damage every time. I don't really know what causes it to break, or if it has a certain amount of damage it can absorb before it breaks. But it's, it's not breaking immediately every single time we hit them. Ah, uh, let's see. Should probably go back for this Peace Bloom. Yeah, drinking some more milk there would have been a good idea before pulling this guy. We'll see how this turns out. We do have potions. Uh, if it gets to be too much, we can pop a potion. Like, now would probably be a good time to get our health and mana back before we fight anybody else or get aggro from anybody else. Oh, one of you guys asked if I could if I could turn off some of the chat stuff uh, for better immersion. That's actually a really great idea. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pop it into the combat log. And unless I am looking for a group or something like that, I'm going to keep it in the combat log. Uh, I kind of wish we could show both our actions and what happened to us, but it looks like we can only show one or the other. Maybe I'll look into like an advanced combat log that can kind of show a little bit more granularity. Uh, okay, let's see, because yeah, I, I don't see a quest here, so... Bring, moss bring the moss twined heart to Denelon at Lake El Meth. Okay. I have to assume that that's going to be dropped off of one of these guys, like a chance to drop. Um, hmm. Interesting. Maybe by the time we get our mossy tumors it'll have dropped. The question is, if it doesn't drop... Oh, you have a healing wave. Screw you, sir, and your healing wave. Uh, that is incredibly rude. This is an Elder Timberland. He dropped some sandals, but he didn't drop a moss-covered heart. Looks like these boots are in... Well, they're cloth, but they have more armor. Let's equip them for now. <laughs> well, that's what they look like. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty rough to have to spend an entire bar of mana to fight one guy. 
Oh no, you don't. <laughs> We don't have any mana left. We can't have you healing yourself at this point. That's uh, that's not going to work. It is not going to work. Yeah, this is this is unfortunate because I don't know if we're going to get this. I don't know how many more of these guys I really want to fight beyond getting the items that we currently need. Yeah, look at man, he got that heal off, and yeah, um, it's it's not good. I really don't want to fight any more of these guys. They can heal. They have a lightning shield. Yeah, we can we can forget that. We're gonna go back to fighting some of these guys. I'd love to do the quest. I wish Questy would at least tell us the name of the enemy that the item drops from. That way I could know for sure. Like, I don't want to spend 10 minutes fighting these guys if it doesn't drop from them, if that's not what happens. And I feel like that could, that could happen. You know, we could fight these guys for a bit and then still not get the item. Uh, we're running out of water really quickly, which is insane. It's kind of insane how quickly we're going through mana. There's the heal. And now we melee and pray. Maybe we have to pop a potion. Yeah, it looks like the only way we survive this is if we pop a potion. I mean, I'm just looking at the health go down and his, his health is staying the same. We could try a heal. Uh, yeah, the heal's not doing anything. Oh, he could heal again. It's two heals, he's healed himself twice. Now is he just gonna keep healing himself until he's out of mana? Because that would basically be disastrous for us. As it is, I don't think we're gonna be able to kill this guy. I think I'm gonna have to decide to run here in a minute. Let's try to get a big heal off and see what that does. Okay, yeah, the problem is we're just not dealing any damage to this guy at all. That's the problem. Yeah, look at this shit. <laughs> I have never seen any shit like that in a starting zone at all so yeah night elf starting zone not not very new player friendly druid class definitely definitely don't play this if you're newer to the game if you're newer to the game and you don't want uh elden ring levels of frustration in world of warcraft then don't play the druid in the night elf starting area that would be my advice uh play anything else anywhere else and you'll probably have an easier time and probably more enjoyable time It's crazy to me to have those guys, like, they drop a quest and they have a heal that they can spam. I don't know if any class besides a rogue gets an interrupt this early. I think maybe the rogue gets a, a kick pretty early on. I don't even know if they get their kick by level 9 or not. Uh, I don't think that they do. We're, we're probably not going to be doing this quest, whatever it is. If you guys know, like, how that drops, uh, I'd love to know for sure if it drops off those guys, but we're not doing it. We will miss that one, sadly. Let's come over here to the Moonwell and try to figure out what's going on with this other quest. Acquire six Blood Feather somethings. Okay. Again, it seems like it's going to drop off a person. Blood Feather belts and bring them to Sentinel Arnia. Please just be a quest giver who has a quest for us. Um, I think that's that would help out a lot. Oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> Thank you for being a normal quest giver. Let's fill up the file with the moon well water. And let's talk to uh, Sentinel Arnia. I am the Enchanted Glade. I was dispatched with a small group of sentinels here to protect the oracle tree from the harpies that have made nests all around the glade. Little by little, we are trying to push them back. 
When the Oracle Tree attempted to send a runner to Darnassus with a report, the messenger was attacked and killed by a group of the Harpies. If you feel up to the task, go to their nest, slay them, and return their belts to me as proof of your deeds. Okay, yep, we should be able to do that. Oh, level 12. Well, then... Oh, that's... Oh, yeah, Bloodfeather Belts, level 12. Oh, Silvery Spinnerets is level 12. Um, hmm. Let's let's head up over here into the corner. We want to try to pick up some of these other quests. Escort Mist to Sentinel Arnia. That's going to be the last thing we do. Um, the Matriarch. Okay. Yeah, this might get a little tough. Um, I don't anticipate this being easy. It might get a little brutal from here on out. Uh, the bad thing is we don't really have a lot of mana, so... Unfortunately, uh, we may need to head back to town before we finish this. Yeah, these guys are what? Level 10? Level 10, okay. Uh, as long as they don't heal, we should be okay. Yeah, we just kind of hit a point where our melee attack is not really helping us at all. Oh shit, okay, well... I don't know how this is gonna go. Okay. Cool, uh, out of mana. It's crazy because I have to totally readjust like how much water I think we need. When we set out, I, I thought that we had enough water. I wasn't setting out thinking that I was under provisioned and just saying, oh, the hell with it. I was actually setting out with the amount of water that I kind of thought I needed based off of experience with other classes. And somehow this class is more mana deprived as a caster than a mage is. And it deals less damage. So... Yeah, I, I just like... I have super respect for anybody who plays this class and levels it as a caster because, geez, that must be incredibly painful. As it is, it's going to be incredibly painful to get these last few bubbles. I would love to not go back to town until we get the last few bubbles uh, because I, I don't want to come back out here and have to cast at everything. I want to be done casting for the time being. That is what I would really want. Uh, we'll see if we can make it happen. It, it doesn't seem very promising at this point. Having Thorns up might give us a little bit more damage in melee. Gust of Wind, okay, what's that gonna do? It's gonna CC us for a couple seconds, take us out of the fight, so we can't cast or attack. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, they run too. Perfect, perfect. They haven't dropped any belts yet, I'll point out. No belts have dropped. Uh, we do have a quest to turn in. So we will we will have to head back here in a second. We will have to head back here. Is there any way we find the matriarch before we head back? Probably not. Well, we pull the cat. Uh, yeah, this is not really where I want to go. Please drop. No? There we go. Uh, bring a shimmering frond to Denelon at Lake Elameth. Okay, we're doing this again. I've definitely never come over here and grabbed this tree. I, I think this is the first time that I've ever been in this area or encountered harpies here, so...
we need to pull her back again uh, a bit. Otherwise, we're never going to loot her. We're never going to be able to loot her from back there. Oh, she didn't move. Oh, there she goes. And hey, look at that. We got one belt. <laughs> we, we got one item. It's brilliant. Okay, yeah, we have to we have to go back. We have to We have to be going now. And I'm kind of hoping that we can just get bear form. Um if we aren't there yet, I'm going to go grind on stuff outside of town until we until we can. All right, which one of you is actually going to sell us water? What about you? Feel free to browse. Okay, uh, let's get rid of what we don't need. Oh, we had we had one spring water. Yep, I didn't use that. It's true. Yeah, that's about all the space we can make. Hoping that'll be good, considering we shouldn't... We shouldn't really need a lot... ...going forward. Uh, if we can get bear form. I don't think turning this quest in is gonna do it. To be in the presence of the oracle tree, it is almost to feel wisdom taking form. Let me continue the telling. With, with Teldrassil grown, the Ark Druid approached approach the dragons for their blessings. And the dragons had placed upon Nordrassil in ancient times. But Norsdomu, Lord of Time, refused to give his blessing, chiding the Druid for his arrogance. In agreement with Norsdomu, Alexstrasza also refused Stagholm. And without her blessing, Teldrassil's growth has been flawed and unpredictable. Hmm. So they grew the world tree, and they didn't have the blessings of the dragons. And the dragons are the offspring of the elementals, and the elementals were created by Azeroth herself. Without the blessings of Alexstrasza, the life binder, and Norsdormu the Timeless, Teldrassil's growth has not been without, fl without flaw. Strange beasts have been reported arising from the very ground of the tree, and crazed furbolgs attack passing travelers. I can only hope that the solution to the Ar the Arcturid is looking for will be found quickly. I will pour all the files you brought into this vessel for you to deliver to Darnassus. Bring it to Frandal Staghelm. You will find him in the Druid. Okay, so maybe we fix the problems. <laughs> It'd be kind of a crazy thing for a low-level character to fix, but maybe we do. And on top of that, we did hit level 10, so we need to... Take a look here. We need rank two of Moonfire. We need rank two of Mark of the Wild and rank two of Rejuve. Be careful. And then heeding the call. Excuse me, friend. It has come to my attention that Mathregal Bearwalker has put out word that he wishes to speak with you. It seems that your training as a druid is about to take on a new life. Speak with him uh, in the Scenarian Enclave in Darnassus. Mm -hmm. Okay, everything is kind of telling us to go to Darnassus. Uh, we're going to go down here first and talk to our buddy Denelon and get this turned in and see what he has for us. Maybe he'll have a follow-up, maybe he won't. And then, yeah, it's going to be off to off to Darnassus to get a bunch of stuff done and hopefully get our, our bear form. I guess we're probably going to have to go to Moonglade. I, I think we go to Moonglade. Uh, oh, hi there. Yeah, I didn't... I don't really want to fight you, but... I will, um, and I'll have to fight your buddy too, I think, if I want this peace bloom.
Where did you get this? I haven't seen a plant like this since a sojourn I made to the Swamp of Sorrows decades ago. It's amazing that a specimen made its way to Teldrassil, and it's, growth to, it's grown to such a size. Forgive my shortness of words, but there is a test I would like to perform on this frond. Hey, the stars is this the one where the little, little frondlings pop out and try to attack us? He looks around. Uh, nothing happened. Oh, here we go. The fronds Denelon planted within this garden have sprouted and grown. They tremble, eager to be picked. Oh boy. Uh, did we pick them? Did we... What did we do? What did we get? Boggling roots? Is that it? A lot of times I feel like they had plans for quest lines that they didn't have time to execute on or to write or to program. And so, especially back in vanilla, a lot of quests just seem to dead end. When you think, hey, that seems like it's really going somewhere, and then it just stops. You're like, oh, okay, great, it's not going anywhere. Well, that was all worth it for the experience. It, it's kind of a shame that we couldn't get this one too. This also goes back to him. Maybe once we get our bear form, we can maybe go try again to take on some of those guys and see if we can get the item to drop. We're going to be up in that general area fighting the harpies eventually anyway. Uh, but we'll see. Them having a heal that they can spam endlessly, that's not going to change even when we're a bear. All that's going to change is we're, we're not going to be worried about running out of mana. We're going to be worried about running out of health and just getting killed. So, uh, There is that. Uh, we got some new spells, so while we're running here, I should probably work to get these out on our bar. We got Moonfire rank 2. Uh, we've already got Wrath rank 2 out. Healing Touch rank 2. Mark of the Wild rank 2. And Rejuve rank 2. There we go. And yeah, I guess now we need to do the long run to uh, to Darnassus. I'm going to edit that out for you guys. And what I'll do is... Well, let's see. Can I do anything on the way? No, not really. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do an edit so you guys don't have to just watch the uh, boring run. And I'm going to drink some coffee and I'll see you guys there. Alright, here we are in Darnassus, and I realize we probably should take a look at our talent tree. Now, we're definitely going to be going into Feral. Uh, the cost of your Maul, Swipe, Claw, Rake, and Mangle abilities reduced by one Rage, or increases the attack power reduction of your Demoralizing Shot by 8%, and the damage caused by your Ferocious Bite by 3%. Um, huh. Those both seem good. I think we're gonna go with Feral Aggression for now. Yeah, that, those are both really good, so that sucks to have to choose between those right away. Uh, here's the Mossy Tumors. Well done, these tumors are the symptom of the Timberling's disease. They are filled with a poison that we must cleanse from our new land. I will dispose of these tumors. Yeah, you're gonna go, like, boil them and eat them or something weird, aren't you? I've just received word that Denelon at Lake Alameth has discovered what may be the cause of the tumors that plague the Timberlings. Please speak to him and tell him I sent you. Yeah, we know him. Did he contact you via Link Pearl? Because we just came from there. Yeah, well. Don't understand how you just heard from them. You're both stationary. And I think we go up here to talk to the Arc Druid. Uh, or not, this is, uh, this is Bearwalker. I'm not going to try to say his first name again. Matt Bearwalker, that's his name. I'm glad you found your way here today, young Druid. The time has come for you to take a large step into a much larger world. Inside each of Scenarius' children is the call to serve nature, animals, and plants. 
are our friends as well as our charges. We choose to devote our lives as preservers of balance for their sakes as well as our own. Your first step into this world will be to learn of the ways of the bear and to learn strength of body and heart. All druids are welcome in the sacred land of Moonglade. Regardless of the current tensions in the Scenarian Circle between Archdruid Staghelm and the Keeper Remulos, Moonglade's guardian, now that you're learning the ways of the Claw, I'll teach you the spell that lets you transport yourself there. Okay. So we will be doing that in a second. Let's go up top uh, first and get our other quest turned in. has no idea how to lead our people. Speak quickly, young one. I have urgent matters to attend. I have vision that she lacks. Speak quickly, young one. Does I this guy turn out to be a bad guy? He has a bad guy name, Fandral Staghelm. I don't know, I guess stag could be like a deer, but I see stag and I see the word stagnant. Is he a bad guy at some point? If you were here to waste my time, then you were wasting the time of the scenario. So he seems like a real jerk. I know that I did not summon you, so I cannot help but wonder why it is you have come to speak with me. Yeah, he's he's clearly got to be a bad guy at some point. Ah yes, the water I had requested. Teneron and Korathus certainly took their time in having it delivered, perhaps not choosing the most reliable of messengers. Nonetheless, I could finally get back to my work. The weight of Teldrassil's problems fall upon my shoulders, a yoke I would wish to soon be rid of. Yeah, I bet. And that's it! Yay! Okay. Uh, let's teleport Moonglade. See what happens. I don't know how we're getting back. Alright, welcome to Moonglade. Very nice. Has a greenish, bluish lens put across everything. Greetings, Druid. You are welcome in Nighthaven as well as all of Moonglade. The Scenarian Circle welcomes all beings who respect the authority and command of nature. While you are here, please be sure to preserve the balance in all things. Disturbances are not welcome here, and our wardens are trained to cease all hostilities without question. So no PvP in Moonglade, guys. And so it begins, Father Scenarius, and so it begins. Dendrite makes a quick, invisible gesture in the air above him. A slight aura of power falls over him. The first perspective of nature you must adapt to is that of the bear. I will put you on the path to understanding this aspect of druidic life, but it is you that must embrace it and propagate it now and forever. I remember I read these once, these bear quests, and they were really weirdly written. Yeah. In the northwest part of Moonglade resides the home of the wise and noble being we call the Great Bear Spirit. For all druids, it has served as a tutor and mentor into the first true natural understanding of the bear. All druids, at one point, seek the spirit's wisdom, and you shall be no exception. Go to the Great Bear Spirit now and learn what it will teach you. When it is satisfied with you, return to me here in Nighthaven. We will see if you have truly taken account of the lessons it teaches. May the stars yeah, just kind of like some weird writing. Uh, why is my questy being all... Oh, okay, yeah, because of that. Let's do that. <laughs> Sometimes it gets, like, really long explanatory text, and it runs it in, like, a straight line. And you have to minimize it to get it to go back to normal. Yeah, I'm kind of assuming that we're not going to fight any creatures here. It doesn't seem like there's any kind of enemies or anything like that. Uh, we do have to make our way up into the far northwestern corner of the place, though. They've got merchants and stuff here, but the place is just kind of generally seeming very empty and desolate. 
It's like empty in kind of a creepy way. I wonder if they ever thought to do more with the zone and then didn't. It's pretty small, I guess. Here is the great bear spirits. Just patiently waiting to uh, speak to us. Well, that's not going to make much of a thumbnail. I represent strength which bolsters you as a, as a young druid. You have come to me to learn this strength, young one, and I will teach this to you. I will teach you all that is the bear spirits, provided you will listen and understand. Strength of the body is the power of swiftness and action. You must keep yourself fit at all times, both physically and mentally. The bear's girth highlights its strength, as it is a ferocious foe in combat. The bear's girth, however, belies its lithe, agility, and sharp mind. These are surprises you will use to your advantage. Uh, yeah, it's fine. I don't necessarily need to read all 17 paragraphs of what the bear has to teach us. You've heard my words, and now you must move on. Heed what I have taught you. There will be a time when you will have your strength tested. You must face your foe as the bear would, with strength of body and strength of heart. Cool. And now run all the way back. I almost wish we could have done a quest here. There could have been like something we could have done, some kind of threat, or maybe like the uh, like the cave on Dagobah. Maybe we could have gone into a cave and, and faced some kind of challenge that required us shifting into the bear in order to survive. That would have been cool. It would have been cooler to actually do something, even if it was a small something, than to just go read four pages of text and then come back to the guy. It doesn't really seem like it makes sense that we would learn these lessons by just listening to him speak. Uh, am I going a way that is going to ever get us back where we need to go? I guess we'll find out. Well, we discovered Lake Illuminaria. Can I get back up this way, or have I doomed us to live in this valley forever? Yeah, probably the latter. Let's see if I can find a way up here. Yeah, I would have preferred a little bit of action to just, like, somebody really going at it hard on, on the keyboard and just, like, typing for hours and coming up with what they probably thought was, like, the coolest text in the game. But in reality, it was just, it was okay. Uh, let's see. Dedrite makes another invisible gesture in the air above him as you approach. Another aura of power comes over him, and he smiles ever so slightly. I sense wisdom in you, young one. That was not present when we first met. You gaze upon me with strength and knowing intent, though this intent is not yet focused. You will now learn how to focus your strength and adopt the nature of the bear into your work. Time has come for us to part ways, the, as the application of your lesson takes you back to whom has sent you. No enemies. What brings um... Yeah, that's... That's all fine and good. How the hell do I get back? Are you going to tell me that I have to go to a flight? I don't have any flight points that connect to here. Did uh, Can we use this to get out? <laughs> Robert, you're in Moonglade. I know, but I, like, I don't know how the hell to get out of here without our hearth being up. Okay, no. You know? <laughs> Oh, Jesus. Okay. Why wouldn't they give you an easy way to port back out? Am I missing something here? Yeah, there's no there's no quick travel way to get back. Yeah, well that's kind of bullshit, but it's fine. It's classic, so I guess they just expect you to hearth out. Uh, we used our hearth. This is really weird looking, like the sky and fog just bleed into the water and you can't really tell what is what. 
Yeah, I'm not really sure. I, I guess I'm gonna swim all the way down here to the to the flight point. And once we get to the flight point, we're gonna learn that we don't have any connecting flights because I haven't gotten the flight point in, in route there in village, which would probably be the only connecting flight to this. Um, and then after that, I guess I'm gonna just have to wait for my hearthstone to be off cooldown in 35 minutes in order to get out of here. So, I'm really just kind of hoping that the flight point is automatically given to us, although I know that that's not how Classic typically works. And I think I'm about to be sorely disappointed here. Was looking forward to getting right out there, getting our bear form and getting into some action, but... Uh, if that's not gonna happen today, then that's fine. It's no fault of mine. Uh, yeah, I think them giving- I think this teleporting you in and out would be fine. I think him opening up a portal would be good. I think you having the flight point automatically would be fine too. But I think that none of those things are gonna be the case. Let's cross our fingers, okay? Hey, at least we'll have this flight point going forward. What you here? Oh, look at that! <laughs> Great! Oh man, we have Aberdeen and Darkshore even? Oh, that's amazing. Okay, well I take it all back. Thank you. Thank you, Blizzard. Let's go to Root Theron Village and uh, at least get this turned in and get our bear form, shall we? You'd think he could have like directed you to the flight point, right? Yeah, they don't tell you. They're like, yeah, go back. Go back to Darnassus. Figure it out, buddy. We also picked up a quest. Uh, I picked up a quest in Darnassus to talk to Nessa Shadowsong. I think this is just going to be a breadcrumb that leads us from Root Theron into Darkshore. So not not a really big deal to follow up on that right now. But we'll, we'll turn in the breadcrumb if we see her down in Root Theron Village. It's really neat that they give us the, the Darkshore flight point for free. I can't think of any other starting zone that gives us any flight points automatically. I've been to major cities, forgotten to grab the flight points there, and then not, you know, you don't have the flight point unless you actually go talk to the flight master. Why was this flashing at me? I guess I'll never know. Could do some stuff in Blood Mist. Jeez, we, I mean, we could do some stuff in Azure Mist. Uh, no, I'm not really... I didn't like Blood Mist very much when we did Blood Mist on the Draenei Mage. It was... It's not very enjoyable to me. So, I've done Darkshore before, and I, I like Darkshore. There's a couple of quests that have, like, really bad drop rates in Darkshore, but besides that, uh, it's a pretty good zone. And it leads us into Ashenvale pretty well, I think. I think it leads us into some stuff we can do in Ashenvale. But yeah, I don't think we're gonna go over into the... Draenei areas. I've realized that uh, the Draenei kind of don't click with the game for me, so I, I would like to avoid as many Draenei as possible. And I didn't realize that till I played so long on a mage that something about the Draenei just... they, they I know their place in the lore, and they have a well-rooted place in the lore, obviously. They've been in the lore since almost inception, but just the way that they are and the, everything about them just kind of, it stands out. It's, it's, it doesn't merge well in my mind for like immersion in the world. So yeah, we'll be avoiding that and uh, maybe as many, avoiding as many drain as we can until, uh, until we get to Outland. And I feel like in, in Outland they fit, right? It makes sense. We're in Outland. Uh, but here on Azeroth, not so much.
a little bit of a flight, but yeah, much preferred to having to wait for our hearthstone to be off cooldown. This is the breadcrumb we picked up. I have need of a courier who will take a package to Darkshore. Yeah, we can grab that now. Good luck, friend. We'll be your courier. That'll get us into Darkshore whenever we're ready for that. Uh, for now, though, we're going to go back up into Darnassus and get this turned in. Welcome back. I sense that your first meeting with the Great Bear Spirit is the same as it is with all druids when they first start down the path of the claw. A little bewildering, but very intense. Ah, uh, it wasn't intense. It was a lot of text. I guess that could be intense for some people. The Great Bear Spirit has been a part of Azeroth as long as Azeroth has existed in the heavens. And now, this, he's referring to Azeroth as a planet, when we've, we've seen other people refer to Azeroth as the Eastern Kingdoms. We have come to rely on its wisdom and its power to fuel our purpose. And by Great Bear Spirit, is this Ursok? Or is Ursok different than the Great... Or did they just create Ursok later? He doesn't have a name right now. Directly east of Aberdeen lay many Moonkin Caves. The one closest to Aberdeen has a Moonkin Stone inside of it, Luna Claw. The Defender of the Stone will face you only when Cenarian Moon Dust is applied to it. Luna Claw possesses within it a strength that you must use as one of the Claw. You've earned the right to use this Cenarian Moon Dust. Now show me that you've earned the right to possess the strength and body, strength of body and strength of heart needed as oh, we're not getting we're not getting bear form right now. Did we just- did we just not get bear form? Is that what happened? What the fuck? What's going on? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Uh, okay. We have to do more. We have to do more to get our bear form. Uh, this is- this is annoying. Let's see, where is this at? Okay, I don't see it. Let's read it again. Directly east of Aberdeen lay many Moonkin Caves. Wait, Aberdeen's in, in Darkshore, right? Oh, come on with this now. Ah, uh, they want us to go to Aberdeen just to get this bear form, and we're not done here yet. I don't want to leave the zone. Why are they doing this? Uh, a ditch digger. Cool. That's... NPCs you're never supposed to see. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, yeah, that's pretty frustrating. I, I have to just be honest. It's pretty frustrating that we had to go to the Emerald... Uh, to the Emerald Dream. We had to go to Moonglade, do all that talking, back and forth, running around, get on a flight point. And I've said this before about class quest. 
is that the way they do class quests, especially back in Classic and Burning Crusade, they're not interesting. They're usually just a bunch of traveling around to places that you otherwise would not be at yet at that level. It usually takes you a lot of time to do said traveling. And then all you really get is some mediocre quest text written by somebody who's not a writer. And it's, it's very underwhelming and it's a little bit disrespectful of a person's time. If you were giving me like top tier, high quality writing, maybe some like little cutscenes, or if you were giving me interesting things to actually do, it would be different, but we're not doing interesting things. We're not reading very interesting things and we're having to travel far to get it done. And yeah, not really a big fan, but we're in it now and I I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go get this bear form because I feel like we deserve it at this point. And I want to at least shape shift into it today, even if we don't get to do anything else with it. Uh, on that note, I'm gonna I'm gonna do another cut here, and I'm just gonna I'm gonna save you guys some of the pain that I am feeling right now. All right, so here we are. Uh, we are approaching the spot on the map. We're gonna have to use this item on something, and then presumably fight somebody or do something. Uh, getting back. Oh. You guys are seeing this shit, right? <laughs> just have to make sure. Uh, yeah, we have level 13 guys here. How in the hell am I going to take on a couple of level 13 guys to get back into this place? How in the hell am I going to do that? Oh, he resisted. That's a good way to start. Big ol' resist. We're going to get our, our rejuve going because we are not going to survive this fight, guys. Yeah. That's, uh, that's it. We have... S <laughs> oh, what in the actual f is going on? Glad you guys are get gonna get to see this, because this is something that I would otherwise... I would complain about this and rant about it for like five minutes straight. And people be like, oh, I don't know why you think it's so hard. Why don't you just go and do it? You could do this, do a tangly... Okay, well, now you're going to see exactly why someone might bitch about this for a long time. I think this is crazy, uh, by the way. Uh, I don't appreciate it. I think it's a big crock of shit. I think that it sucks. Level 12 is as low level as we get. The guys that are guarding the actual gate are level 13. I'm probably going to have to like beg for help in, in, in general chat. I don't even know how to phrase it. <laughs> I don't even know how to phrase it. But yeah, I know I need help because uh, I can't imagine a scenario where we, we do this successfully. Unless we're, like, incredibly lucky. Like, we'll try it one more time. Obviously, like, yeah, we go level up some more, right? I'm not stupid. We can go level up. Um, but I don't want to spend any more time leveling up. I want to get the bear form that I just spent 20 minutes working towards. That's what I really would want to do. Resist. There's one potion gone. Okay. And, and here's the thing, okay? If this quest was orange, then there's a high chance that I would not have tried to do it right away. If this quest was orange, I might have tried to get another level, like get to level 11 or 12 before doing it. But since we're supposed to literally get our bear form at 10, and since the quest is yellow, I did not even think twice before coming here. Uh, because I did not think that they would present us with enemies that we could not conceivably defeat. Because to me, if I'm a game designer, 
That makes no fucking sense. Hmm. Now I'm gonna pull this one, he's gonna pull this one too, right? We're never gonna beat two of them, right? If I get lucky enough to beat one of them, then that's just gonna be what it is. He resisted the moon fire, he resisted that moon fire. And we're out of mana. <laughs> uh, what the shit? What in the actual shit? This is what I've been reduced to. <laughs> and any of you who've been around the channel for a while, you know that I hate asking higher level players for help like this. Uh, it's, it's incredibly frustrating to me. The trick is... <laughs> yeah, I've been trying that. I don't need lessons. I need I need help. <laughs> there's a there's a difference. I, if I needed lessons, I would have asked for a lesson. I literally just need help. Let's do that. Oh, they resisted that one. Yeah, I think it's literally it's the mana pool because uh, there's our mana gone. Right? I can't run in here and slap him. I mean, we could try. Are we going to get him? Come on! Oh! Okay, that was close. Okay, I think... I think if we... Yeah, maybe if we have Mark of the Wild and Thorns, we could do it. He's at our body. Like, dude, what are you doing? Well, I'm demonstrating that I can't do it myself. Level 21. Yeah, that should work. The thing is, I don't, even, I don't even have any gold or anything to give this guy, either. I give him all of my silver. Oh, 44 seconds! I don't even know how to properly express gratitude, I'm so frustrated.
Uh, yeah, so guys, if you're playing a druid, uh, don't come here till you're level 11. I feel like one more level, we would have been able to handle it just barely, but don't don't come here at level 10. Save yourself the frustrations, and just don't do it. Let's give you... I can give you the Mark of the Wild. That's like the only thing I can do to help. Uh, what am I supposed to do here? There we go. Summon Luna Claw. Oh shit, we ha we'd have to fight. We'd have another fight. Thankfully, like, he's only... He's only level 12, but yeah, that would have been bad. Oh, it's done. Finally done. Oh man, that that guy saved us. He saved us because this this was not gonna happen today. This was not gonna happen today. I yeah, I think that's like as frustrated as I've gotten with the game in quite some time. So yeah, there we go. Good times. Um, we get our bear form now. Uh, but here's the thing. I, after that, I'm really happy to get it. I I'm gonna take a little bit of a break. I feel like at this point I need to. I really don't like having to ask for help with solo quests. It is an MMO, and that's why we were able to get this done. But I do like to approach the game when I'm leveling as mostly a solo endeavor, unless I'm naturally grouping with someone in the area to get something done. I don't like reaching out to people who aren't working on a quest, specifically to help me work on a quest. Even though, as we just saw, there's people who are willing to do that kind of stuff. And that's what makes the community amazing. I don't like being the person that has to ask for help with stuff like that. I like being able to use the information I have to determine if I can do a quest by myself or not. And the only information I have in this case is the color of the quest. So if I'm going to be fighting orange level enemies, I would really need for the color of the quest to be orange. And it wasn't. We could turn this in. Uh, I I'm. I'm, well, I could take this, and that's going to go back to Nessa, I guess. Return to Nessa. There we go. Yeah, guys, I, I need to take a break here. I'm going to put us back in flight, uh, back to Root Theron Village, and then I'm going to go in and get some rested experience in, in Darnassus. And then I'm going to think long and hard about what's ahead of us. Um, because, yeah, so far, it's been it's been a pretty big challenge on the Druid. And that's exciting to some extent. This I would not call a challenge. This was a setup in which we were basically just set up to fail. There's a small chance that we could have gotten that one by by ourselves, maybe with a little bit more trial and error. Although we did run out of potions, so that, that would have been a huge hindrance. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Uh, I'm really looking forward to the comments on this one, I'll tell you. Um, other than that, I really appreciate you guys being here. If you made it this far, you are a trooper and a legend, and I really do appreciate you. Thank you so much, and a special thanks to everyone on Patreon, and everyone who is a member on YouTube. You guys are allowing me really directly to be able to continue doing what I do into the future, so huge thanks to you. A big thanks to everyone who's here watching. I really do appreciate all your time. Thank you so much. Take care of yourselves out there, and take care of each other. We will see you back in Azeroth sometime soon. Bye now.